Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm gonna to show you how to block ads in all of your Android apps without root or excess battery drain. Now, a few different apps have popped up recently that let you block ads without root by using Android's VPN system. They actually work pretty well, but they do have some downsides. For one, most of these aren't free, and a couple are closed source, which means that you really don't know what they're doing with your data traffic aside from blocking ads. But the biggest downside is how they work. To put it simply, they basically scan all of your data traffic and filter out any ads that are coming through, which has a big impact on battery life. Nothing terrible, but in my experience, I've noticed an extra 5 or 10% drain on a single charge. Well, a new app from developer Julian Claude is looking to change all of this. It still blocks ads using the VPN system, but it does this on the DNS level. That means only the initial DNS requests are filtered, which is better for privacy and great for battery life. And not only is the app completely free, but it's open source, so there's no potential for any shady activity. The only requirements here are that you're running Android Lollipop or higher, and you've enabled unknown sources and settings under security. Aside from that, just head to step one in my full tutorial where I've got a direct link to the app's install page on F-Droid. Then, once you head to that link, scroll down to the Packages section, then tap the link that says Download APK. From there, just open your notification shade, then tap to Download Complete Notification, and press Install when prompted. Once that's finished, go ahead and open the app and read through the initial setup guide. But when you make it to this main menu, you need to head to the Domain Filters tab. These are ad blocking host files that you can apply, and you can select as many as you want. Me personally, I've been fine with just the Adaway host file, but to enable any of them, just tap the circle next to it, and when it's green, it's turned on. Once you've done that, head back to the main Start Stop tab, then tap the Refresh button at the top of the screen. This will instantly launch a download for the host files you chose, so wait until that notification goes away to know it's finished, then just long press the power button icon in the center of your screen. From here, press OK on the pop-up, then you'll be all set to go. From now on, you'll see a key icon in your status bar indicating that a VPN is active, and that's how you know ad blocking is enabled. And this is system-wide ad blocking, so not only does it work in your browser, but it also blocks ads in all of your apps. Really though, the DNS angle for battery saving and the fact that it's free and open source software gives it a pretty big edge over the alternatives in my book. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.